Hi everyone, welcome to another nutrition yoga flow. Today we'll focus again on a few backbend exercises like the last video I made and also a few exercises for hip flexibility and mobility at the end. So sit down on your mat, you can sit near a wall, you can set your mat up near a wall because we'll use the wall for two of the exercises for backbending. Take a comfortable seat, you can sit over the heels or over a cushion with one heel in front of the other. Lengthen up to the spine, let the hands rest on the thighs. Close the eyes. Find a moment of stillness here in your body. Try not to adjust too much. Bring your attention to your breath. Let's chant one OM together before starting the asanas. Imagine your awareness expanding out into the whole universe, to everyone, everywhere. Make the own for them. Softly open your eyes. Come forward with two hands and knees for cat and cow. Knees under the hips. You can tuck the toes under. Hands under your shoulders. Start with a neutral spine. Look at the floor. Exhale all your way out. Start to inhale. Look up towards the ceiling. Let this belly reach for the floor. Tailbone reaching up. Exhale. Start to look towards your belly button. Round up to the spine. Push to the shoulders. Inhale. Start to look up. Drop the belly to the floor. Tailbone reaching up to the ceiling. Exhale, start to look towards the chest, look towards the belly, round the spine upwards towards the ceiling, push to the shoulders. Inhale, look to the ceiling, belly reaching to the floor, tailbone up. Exhale, round the spine upwards, look to the belly button. Let the breath move by itself and a few times Make circles with your head and hips. Big circles. Other direction than you were going. Good. Next time you're looking towards your belly. Press the weight into your toes, lift the knees, and come to a downward facing dog. You can move a little bit in this first down dog. Maybe pedal to the feet. Twist the hips. Look to your hands, bend the knees, take a little jump forward, plant the feet close to the hands, bring your palms together, reach out in front of you, all the way up, reach back, and then land the palms in front of your chest. Sun salutation. Reach the hands up over the head. Start to reach forward, fold forward, over the legs. Hands to the floor, step the right foot back. Knee in the floor, top of the foot in the floor. Hands in Kali Mudra, lift up and over, lift the chest. Start to bring the hands back to the floor, step the left foot back. High plank, lower to Chaturanga, just over the floor. Top of the feet in the floor, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, 
Lower the left knee, top of the foot on the floor. Hands in Kali Mudra. Lift the arms up and over. Lift the chest. Hands back to the floor. Step the left foot forward. Palms together with each other. Hands in front of the chest. Reach up. Fold forward over the legs. Left foot steps back. Hands in Kali Mudra, lift up. Hands back to the floor, step the right foot back. High plank, Chaturanga, lower down. Top of the feet on the floor, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Right knee down, top of the foot on the floor. Lift the arms up. Hands back to the floor, step the right foot forward. Palms together, reach up. Hands in front of the chest. Good. Second round, reach up. Reach forward and down. Right foot steps back. Hands reaching up. Hands back to the floor. Step the left foot up. Chaturanga. Up, down. Down, down. Right foot forward. Left foot forward. Palms together. Reach up. Hands in front of the chest. Reach up. Reach forward and down. Left foot steps back. Interlock the fingers. Reach up. Hands in front of the chest. Right foot back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Right foot back. Palms together. Reach up. Hands in front of the chest. Third round, reach up. Reach forward. Right foot back. Reach the hands up and back. Hands to the floor, step the left foot back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right foot forward. Left foot forward. Palms together, reach up. Hands in front of the chest. Reach up. Reach forward and down. Left foot steps back. Reach the arms up. Hands back to the floor. Right foot back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Right foot forward. Palms together. Reach up. Hands in front of the chest. You can close your eyes, take two long breaths. Step your feet a little wider. We work on a gentle twist for the spine, rotating side to side. We will combine this with the breath, Kapalabhati, where you think about the belly button, pumping back to the spine on the exhale. Interlock your fingers in front of you. Keep a big circle here with your arms. And start swinging the arms side to side. Look inside the palms. And now you can add Kapalabhati. extra warm-up, you can go through a few more rounds of the sun salutation. Now, if you're ready, if you're okay for the first back bend, go to the wall. Stand one arm length away from the, from the wall or so. Keep the feet hip width apart. And now, reach the hands up as high as you can, hands shoulder width apart, and lower the forehead to the wall. Let the chest sink deeper to the wall, tailbone reaching back. Find a comfortable place. Slow your breath. Just 
Again, we start to release the forehead off the wall. Little break. Come back to standing. Good. Second round, you can repeat the forehead on the wall if that was very intense, or go to the next. Instead of bringing the forehead on the wall, I try to look up and bring the chin and chest to the wall. Hands reaching up. Keep them shoulder width apart. Don't let them open too much if you can. And now, look to the ceiling and reach in with your chest and chin. If your chest and chin can't touch, don't worry about it. But keep leaning in with the chest. Tailbone reaching back behind you. Very slowly start to come out and away from the wall. A few deep breaths and standing. Now for the third one, you can repeat what we just did or create a little extra intensity by when you come in, bending the elbows, bringing the palms together and reach the thumbs towards your forehead. You can have a look first. Look at me go into it if you're a little bit in doubt what is going to happen. Reach the hands up. Once again, bring the chest in, the chin in. Now you have to walk your hands together, bring the palms together, bend the elbows and place the thumbs towards your forehead. If it is too intense, go back to the previous options. start to come out, hands on the wall, release the chest. Two long breaths in standing. Good. Now turn around. Stay in the same distance from the wall. One arm length or so. Last in the last video, we were working on wall walks, walking down the wall with the hands. Today, we're going to do the first reach. We're still going to reach the hands to the wall. Maybe you can reach the whole palm. Maybe it will only be the fingertips. That's okay. But instead of walking, you will think about isolating the chest. The chest keeps reaching up and the sit bone, the tailbone, will start to reach in towards the wall like this. Reaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try. Lift the chest. You can bring your hands together in the front of the chest. Look to the wall first. Create a nice stretch between chin and chest. Reach the hands up and back. Touch with your fingertips. Maybe touch with the palms if you can. Keep lifting the chest. Very important. And now see if the chest can keep being lifted, but reach in with your sit bone. And then push the hips out again. Reach in with your sit bones, like you want to sit on the wall. And reach the hips back out. Last time, reach the sit bones in, keep the chest lifted, keep the arms straight. Bring the hips back up, start to lift the hands off the wall. Come back to standing, lower the arms along your sides. Good. Now sit down on your mat.
I'll show the next a little bit from the side so that it makes more sense what to do. We'll work next on a few variations of the camel. So, the knees can be hip width apart and you rise up so that your hips come over your knees. The feet can be in line with the knees behind you. Mm -hmm. Now, take your hands, place the palms on your lower back, the fingers can point down, and start to squeeze the elbows together, show the plates together, lift the chest again, and now relax your neck, try to look up and maybe look back. Keep the chest lifted and squeeze the buttocks a little bit, push the hips further forward. See if you can look a little bit more back behind you. To come up, start to bring the hips back to center, start to roll up to the spine, chest coming back to center, chin coming back to the center line. And sit over your heels, quick break. Second round. Start in the same place, hands on the lower back. Lift the chest, look up and back. Gently squeeze the buttocks so that the hips push forward. Now, maybe reach one hand to the heel. Hold the heel. If you're comfortable, other hand to other heel. Keep the elbows straightened, keep pushing up with the chest, keep pushing forward with the hips. To come back, put your hands on your lower back, bring the hips to center, bring the chest to center, Chin to center, sit over your heels, a little break. Good, third round. We'll start to work on reaching a little bit back, one arm at a time, maybe both arms if you feel prepared. For this one, bring the big toes together. Now, hold the lower back, lift the chest, hips pushing forward, look up and back, reach one hand to the heel. All arm starts to reach behind you, over your head. Change, other hand holds up heel, all arm reaches up and out behind you. Now see if you can find your balance and reach both hands at the same time. So you have to squeeze the buttocks a lot. Look for the floor and maybe start to work on reaching. Tapping the floor with your fingertips. A few times. Bring your hands back to your lower back. Slowly come back up to center. Push the belly button to the spine. Sit back over your heels. Quick break. Now, for the next last round of drills, we will go directly to reaching with both arms. If it is too much for you, reaching for the floor, repeat any of the previous variations. Bring the hips over your knees. You can start with hands in the center of the chest. Start to look up, look back. Keep the chest lifted, squeeze the buttocks, and reach the hands over. 
started to look for the floor, reaching. This time, place the palms on the floor. Lower the hip. Walk the hands a little bit closer to your feet. Now, push into the palms and stretch the elbows as much as you can. Head will lift off the floor again. Place the hips towards your feet. Walk the hands a little bit closer. And then push the palms. Stretch the elbows again. Look for your feet. Place the head down. Walk the hands in. You might be able to bend the elbows on the floor and touch your toes or hold your heels. To palm out, place the palms on the floor, stretch the elbows, slowly come up to the center line, lower your seat on your heels, quick rest. Good. Now, we're going to work a little bit on the hips and the lower back to start to release all the tension around the torso that we had engaged during these exercises. So, spread your feet as wide as you can, as wide as you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Now, bend the right knee and come up. See if the heel can stay on the floor, but the hip is lifted. Reach forward to the fingertips, let the tailbone reach down. You can use the hands in the floor to change to the other side. Or, if you're comfortable, lean to the left foot and lower your seat to the left heel. Flex the right foot, let the toes point up to the ceiling. Reach forward to the fingertips, tailbone reaching down. And then just a few times, change from side to side. Next time you're sitting by the left heel, lower your seat all the way. Now hold with your right hand around the left shin bone, close to the ankle if you can. And see if you can bend the elbow, right elbow to the floor. Maybe the upper arm and shoulder reaching. And then lift, reach the left arm up and over. Keep reaching to the left hand, if you can hold your toes, hold your toes and keep rolling the chest up towards the ceiling. Look up to the ceiling underneath your left upper arm. Slowly release. Change to the other side. You can reach forward. Change your hips over to the right foot. Lower your seat to the floor. Now hold around the right shin bone. Close to the ankle with the left hand. Bend the left elbow. Let it reach to the floor. Reach the upper arm and shoulder to the floor. And reach the right arm up and over. If you can hold the toes, hold the toes. Keep rolling the chest open up towards the ceiling. Look up to the ceiling as well. Slowly start to release. Open your feet again. As wide as you're comfortable with. Work on folding forward. 
the straddle splits. You can lower to your forearms for like a sphinx pose, holding some of the weight on the forearms. If you're comfortable, moving a little deeper, start walking the hands up even further. Think about lowering the belly and chest. the hands back onto the shoulders and slowly start to roll up. Good. Bring the feet together. You can shake your toes a little bit side to side if you need. Now, bend your left knee and bring it underneath the right leg. Bend your right knee and try to place the knees on top of each other. Sometimes it can help to reach a little bit forward. One knee is crossed over the other, right on top of left, and then you sit back down. You can find your own adjustment here. Some people are more comfortable with the heels more forward. Some people are more comfortable with the heels closer. So find the adjustment that you want to work on. Also, if you want it to be more comfortable or more intense, Find your own balance. Good. Now we work on twisting with cow face legs. Reach your left hand over to your left foot. Reach the right arm around the spine and look over the right shoulder. Slowly release this twist, change to the other side, right hand to right heel, reach the left arm around the spine, look over the left shoulder. If one buttocks is coming off the floor, try to root it back in, equal weight on both sit bones. Slowly release, lean back and take a little switch here with the legs. Now right leg is on the bottom, left leg is on the top. You can lean forward to get the legs more crossed and then sit back. Find adjustment again with the feet where you want them to be. Good. Twisting over to the right first. Raise your left hand to your left foot. Raise the right arm around the spine. Look over the right shoulder. Gently release, change to the other side. Right hand to right heel. Raise the left arm around the spine. Look over the left shoulder. Now prepare for Shavasana, release the feet. If you need to put a blanket on, shirt on, socks on to be comfortable and warm, go ahead, take your things now. Lay down on your mat, lay on your back, 
Arms resting by the sides of the torso. Feet open. Whole body relaxed. Try your best to remain physically still during Shavasana. Let the body recharge, rejuvenate, purify, heal during the relaxation. Bring your focus inside yourself. Concentrate on your left arm. Whole arm from fingertips to shoulder. Loose and relaxed. Concentrate on your left leg. Whole leg from hip joints to toe tips. Right arm. Whole arm relaxed. Right leg. Your attention pulling energy to the leg. Removing all impurities. Concentrate on your pelvic floor. Lower back and abdomen. Middle back and solar plexus. Upper back and chest. Whole torso relax. Concentrate on your throat, jaw completely loose, cheeks and ears, back of the head, eyelids and eyebrows, forehead. Top of the head. Be the witness. Observe the body resting on its own true nature.
slowly, very slowly, prepare to come back. Take a deep inhale. Full exhale. Start to wake up the body. You can take a stretch. And gently roll over to the right side of the body. Eyes close and continue up to a sitting position. conclude the practice by whispering Om Shanti 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 together. Open your eyes. Thank you to everyone that practiced along. Looking forward to having you back. Hope you enjoyed the video. More to come soon. Have a beautiful day wherever you are.